busy night of boxing. Gervonta Davis with a six-round brutal knockout of Lito Santa Cruz. The scorecards were 48-47. Gervonta had a slim lead, and he comes with his vicious uppercut and takes Cruz out. We knew Leo was going to give a valiant effort, but the, at the end of the day, we knew what it was. Tank's power was going to make the difference, and it did once again, especially when you're fighting a guy who's supposed to be fighting at 126. My hats go off to Leo Santa Cruz because he's a real warrior. He was just out of his division. Maybe Tank could start fighting 135 pounders now. Boxing fans, Mikey Garcia, content creators were trying to tell me that that Leo could tank Tank into deep waters. And I just didn't buy it. I just believe Tank in shape would knock out an underweight Leo Santa Cruz. Six to eight rounds. That's how I had it. They asked Tank what weight division he's going to fight at. He said either 130 or 135. If he fights at 130, I like to see him against Miguel Bruchette. If he fights at 135, Lopez, Garcia, or Haney. Or better yet, just have him fight a 135 pounder and I would be happy. I have Canelo Alvarez as number one, but I can see why some boxing critics and boxing fans have Naya Anui number one. The guy is incredible. Jason Maloney is a good fighter. I've seen Jason Maloney fight several times and he just took him apart. Like Andre Ward and Timothy Bradley said, he reminds me of Manny Pacquiao just a little bit. When he goes in to punch and range, then he jumps out. And Jason Maloney was very confident before he got in the ring with them. There's a big difference in watching a fighter and getting in the ring with them. And once Jason Maloney got in the ring with them, he got discouraged real quick. I mean, what are you going to do if a guy is quicker than you, punch harder than you, has a better jab than you, and throws better combination punches, and you can't hit him? Nobody is perfect. Anui lacks head movement, but he does everything else well. He's a great boxer, and he's very entertaining. Who's only 27 years old, in his prime, might rule the lower weight classes for a long time. How far can he go up? I don't know. I'm thinking 126, maybe. I'm sticking with Canelo, but this guy right here, he might be the number one pound for pound fighter in the world, and I would not dispute it. Anyway, drops Maloney with a left hook in his sixth round, and after that, it went downhill. Naya Inouye knocks out Jason Maloney in the seventh round with an overhand right to retain his IBF and WBA Bantamweight titles. He goes to 20 and 0. Saturday's boxing was straight lit. Leave your thoughts and comments below. Jay Beasy, subscribe to the channel. I'm gone.